Hey guys, it's M Rob here. Today's lesson will look pretty bad to you, but what you need to know is I'm going to teach you today how to cheat. It's going to be awesome. This thing that I'm going to teach you today is called evaluating expressions. Evaluate means give me the numerical answer. So a lot of students, they don't like this stuff with all this letters. So you could make the questions way easier by substituting in a number and a different number for a different letter and then finding the answers that match. This will work in all through high school. If you have a multiple choice problem, you can take the problem, plug the numbers in, take all the answers, plug numbers in, which ones match? Problem solved. You could completely not understand anything. Use your calculator and get the answer because you know your calculator is your bestie. And sometimes you should call your bestie up for some help. So today I'm going to do that. On the first page, there are a bunch of definitions that you should know. So I want you to go back and read them. An expression is what we have here. It's something that isn't equal to anything. So what we're going to do is simplify the expression. Simplify means summarize what we see. And there's a bunch of other words in there. You check them over. I, I define the words as I go. So here we go. I'm going to do these problems and you're going to do all of the rest of them. So in question five on the second page, it says 3a plus 6 plus 5a minus 2. Rule number one is to always change subtraction to adding the opposite. So I'm going to change that minus 2 into adding the opposite of a regular 2. Oh, that didn't work out so well. Um, I'm going to zoom in more. The more I zoom in, the neater it is. So, Okay, the next thing we need to do is to be neat and organized. So I'm only going to add like terms. Now remember, a like term is something that has the same letter or variable with the same exponent up top. If it doesn't have a variable, what's it called? Do you remember? If something varies means changes. So the opposite of changing would be not changing. So the numbers there with no letters are called constants because a 6 is a 6 all day long. A 3a could be different depending on what the a is. So that's why we call those variables. So I'm going to circle this first one to be neat. And then I'm going to ask myself, self, are there any other like terms? Are there any other a's there? There is. There is a positive 5a. And I don't see any other a's. So when I have, uh, and I got to tell you, to make life easy, instead of looking at these things as letters, looking at these things as things. So if I have three apples and I add five apples, you have eight apples. I'm just going to write a plus sign. I'm either going to add a positive or a negative. I can write plus either way. So the next thing, I don't feel like changing my colors, although sometimes that's super pretty and I really like it when students do that. This is not like the other terms, so I'm not going to make it a circle. I'm going to box it. That's a constant. It's a number, a regular number, six. That regular number gets added with the other regular number, which is also called the constant of negative two. So you can put in your calculator, six plus negative two, enter, or six minus two, and you will get four. And that is the simplified answer. I cannot go further. I will not add eight and four because the eight is for apples and the four is not. So we are done. And um, I'm gonna go back and check my work in a minute, but I wanna do that in a different color. So right now I'm just going to simplify. I'm going to simplify one more problem. Rule number one is to change any subtraction to adding the opposite. I see two subtractions. The opposite of a positive four is a negative four, and the opposite of a positive three is a negative three. Now, I'm going to circle first because I like to. You could do box if you want. Are there any other C's? There is all C's. I got a negative 4c, positive c here, negative 3c here. So um, all of them are c's. I'm going to do a simple way to write this. So we can put the coefficients in the calculator. You can't put the letter in the calculator, but you could put the coefficients in. So the coefficient on the first one is 5 
and the second one's negative four. What's the coefficient when you don't see anything? Which number has a superpower of invisibility? That would be one. And the last coefficient is negative three. So you can go ahead and put this in the calculator. N integers isn't all everyone's um, strong point. So let's just do that. Five and a negative four and a one and a negative three into the calculator and you get what? Let's see, 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 and 1 is 2, 1 minus 3 is, is that negative 2? Did I get this right? 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, I didn't, and a negative 3 is negative 1C. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to state this question again. Instead of using letters, I'm going to use things. So I'm going to erase this so that I can uh, see a little better, but you're going to keep that work there. So I got five cats. Take away four cats. Now you have one cat. And I got another cat. I didn't say how many, but when I get a cat, it's just one. So five cats, take away four cats is one cat. And another cat, take away three cats, you owe me a cat. Why are you stealing my cats? You owe me a cat. Okay, now I am going to show you how to cheat. Let's say you didn't understand any of that. And it's a multiple choice question. And the question says, which expression is equivalent to 3a plus 6 plus 5a minus 2? And so what you would do is you would take your question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy my question over again. I should have wrote the answer up top. I didn't. That's okay. That's a minus 2 minus two. Let's zoom back in. So we're going to choose a number for a. Actually, I chose a number for you already. At the beginning, there are directions here. Let's say evaluate, plug numbers in and get a number to find something equal. And I gave you all these. I'm only, only going to use c equals negative three. Oh, we're just going to use, oh wait, there's different letters. Oh, I guess I got to use A is 2. Okay. So A is 2, but I want to use negatives. I think there's negatives on the next question. I don't want to ignore negatives because they tend to be harder questions. So I have here... I got to change my marker back. I'm going to take out the letters and leave the space open so I can plug the number in. I might have to write smaller. You know what? Typing might even be better, actually. Okay. All my missing spaces are A, and we said A was going to be 2, right? So I removed the 2s and substituted in, just like you would in a sporting event. <whistles> Player 2, go in. Okay, and now I uh, could do this PEMDAS myself, but remember, I'm going to call it my bestie. Hey, bestie. Calculadora. 8 times 2 plus 4, what is it? Eight parentheses, two. I'm going to type in it exactly how I see it. Plus four. Well, that comes out 20. Then I'll put in my calculator three parentheses, two, plus six, plus five parentheses, two. When you have parentheses next to a number, it means multiplication. But instead of using any thinking and doing any work ourselves, let's make the technology work for us. That's what it's for. You put that in and you get 20. So then you ask yourself self. I got 20 for the question, and, and then I look through the answers, and I look for which answer gives me 20. And when they match, you're right. So this is like also doing a check. We're going to do lots of checks in our future. We checked our work. 20 is 20. We are good. And I love to write check marks because they make me feel accomplished. So I'm going to go over here and check my work. For this one, I'm just going to move this up here. I'm going to write the negative 1c up here. 
and I am going erase please I'm gonna write my work underneath it's gonna take me a while so wherever I see a C I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna substitute it with the number negative three because the directions at the top told me to use that when you're doing this stuff on your own you can use whatever number you want I recommend that you do not use the number zero or one whenever you do stuff on your own it can throw your results off Okay, so I've got five and I'm taking the C out and I'm putting in negative three. I've got minus four. I'm taking the C out and I'm putting in negative three. I've got a regular C and then I'm gonna subtract three C and see if it's equal to negative one times negative three. All right, so this one's pretty quick. I'd put this in the calculator. Negative one, parentheses, negative three, two negatives, multiply together, make a positive. You don't have to write positive if you don't want to. And then all of this, avoiding PEMDAS and having the calculator do it for you, needs to go into the calculator and it better come out positive three because if it doesn't, it means we did something wrong. So five parentheses, negative three parentheses, minus four parentheses, negative three parentheses, plus parentheses, negative three parentheses, minus, know the difference between a minus and a, and a negative, this one, is a minus this one is a negative when i'm using the calculator it matters minus three parentheses and i better come out i better come oh gosh mine came out negative six did i do something wrong on my calculator or did i do something wrong on my paper i think i left off the four practice makes perfect so i hope you're not just watching me do everything there i did it i left off the four my first time three equals three. And if you ever catch me make a mistake, which I do, I think I made a mistake on the last video, uh, just send me an email. I'll give you a pat on the back. Put a little, you caught my mistake thing in Schoology. What do they call them? Badges. You get a badge. I'm going to skip to number nine. It says uh, parentheses 5R with a parentheses negative two, which implies in the middle times, you are doing times. And if I was going to read this like a word problem, I would say I have, uh, I'm going to take away two groups of five railroads, which would mean I'm going to take away 10 railroads. You can put that in the calculator, five times negative two, and then copy the R yourself. And if this isn't right, well, we'll find out because I'm going to check it. And I'm going to check it by taking out the R and substituting it in with the number they gave me, which was negative 3. Substitution, use, you got to use parentheses when you substitute. You got to, got to, got to. So I'm going to put in the calculator negative 10 parentheses, negative 3, which really means times. I'm going to multiply two negatives. It makes a positive. Taking away negativity is positivity. So that's positive 30. And then this is a whole bunch of times. 5 times negative 3 is a negative 15, and negative 15 times negative 2 is a positive 30, and that works out. Don't believe me? Check with your bestie. 30 equals 30. Check. Did it right. So if it's multiple choice and it says which expression is equivalent to 5R times negative 2, you will put in a number for R and get a number for an answer, which is 30. You'll put the same number in for all your choices until you find the answer that also equals 30. Capiche? You understand what I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you how to cheat, and it works wonders. I mean, we could be talking about algebra 2 trigonometry, and you could be doing this stuff. I could ask you a question right now from algebra 2, and you could use this method and get an answer right. So now I'm going to do 11 on the next page because it looks a little more complicated. I have a number next to parentheses, which means times, and I have an addition, which means I have to do PEMDAS. PEMDAS says, then I like to write it out. I do the M and D next to each other and the A and the S because multiplication and division can be switched. It depends on which one comes first. Addition and subtraction can be switched. It depends on which ones come first. So um, do I have any parentheses? Yeah, but it's just a three S inside. It's just a negative T inside. I could also see the parentheses as distributive property. I'm distributing the negative four to that. I'm distributing the two to that. You can look at it that way and do parentheses. 
I don't see any exponents to do. Multiplication or division, well, I'm going to multiply right now. So negative 4 times 3, you can go in the calculator. What do you get? You get 12, and you copy the S. So if you don't understand, I'll say it in words. What happens when you take away four groups of three sandwiches? Well, you just took away 12 sandwiches. So then um, I do this a lot at home. What happens when I take away your time on your switch twice? It means I took away twice the time you had on your switch. And I write to like, I like, I, 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 I like to write my T's like C's with a line in it because I don't want them to look like plus signs. Okay, so this is equal to my question. I'm going to rewrite my question because right now I'm going to check my work. Negative 4, 3S, 2, negative T. Okay, now I'm going to check my work following the directions from the boss who said for S, we are going to use a half. I use parentheses every single time I substitute. And for T, we're going to use a negative 3. Okay, careful, careful. Check this out. Common area for mistake. Now, I'm substituting for T. The 2 was there, I copied the 2. The parentheses is there, I copied the parentheses. The negative was there, I copied the negative. The T, I'm taking out. So, what am I replacing the T with? A negative 3. The most common mistake is people think that the negative from what I'm substituting is already there, so I don't have to write it. It's not. <clears throat> you need to copy exactly the formula. Two parentheses negative. Take the T out. Put the number in. I don't care if it's a double negative. I can handle it. I don't care. I can handle it. So we're going to do PEMDAS again. Draw our parentheses. And just do one side at a time. There's nothing to do in these parentheses. You could consider it distributive property. Um, there's no exponents. There is multiplication. Half of a negative 12 is a negative 6. You don't have to know that. You need to know how to put it in the calculator. And this is a negative 2 times a negative 3, so that is a positive 6. And now addition is all I have left. These are um, opposites, so this is going to make 0. Okay, now let's check the other side. I have parentheses inside of parentheses, so remember you do the insides first. So I'm going to copy this negative 4 and half of 3 into the calculator. I'm going to copy this too. And you could put this in the calculator, negative, parentheses, negative 3. Uh, negative means opposite. The opposite of a negative 3 is a positive 3. If you take away the negativity, you get positivity. So uh, negative 4 times 1 and a half. Negative 4, I could do this in my head, but right now I don't trust myself. So that would be a negative 6. And then I add a 6 over here, which eventually will cancel to make zero, which proves that my question and my answer evaluate to the same number. So I must have done it right. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Plug the numbers in. Get our answer out. Evaluate. OK? I'm not going to do the rest. you got to do the rest. So make sure you copy that down. And you call me over for help if you need it. Chances are you might need help on this. As ugly as that looks, it's a foolproof method for multiple choice problems. A lot of multiple choice problems. So that's why we're going to go over it, even if you don't like it. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Finish it up, submit it, talk to you soon.